What a beautiful work of art, the Spanish flamenco guitar. The design around the sound hole consists of micro mosaic of hundreds of individual inlaid bits of wood of many colors. The top is made of either spruce or cedar, which gives the flamenco guitar its rich voice. And uh, a little bit of a rough edge to the tone sometimes, kind of like an old gypsy singer. Flamenco was not created as background music for a gathering, for instance, but more like a beautiful intrusion on the ordinary. The Spanish gypsies call it a means of survival. It helps them to express their feelings as outcasts in European society. So concert flamenco, with its celebrated dancers and singers and musicians, is a relatively recent modern phenomenon. Post-World War II, it was taken out of the caves of Andalusia and elevated to the concert halls and the formal stages of Madrid and ultimately the world. The guitar I play was built in 1962 by the Jose Ramirez family. And the design itself, all the specifications have not changed in over 100 years. The flamenco guitarist, as a member of an artistic ensemble, serves primarily as accompanist, but occasionally as soloist, as well as arranger and composer. So let's get some flamenco sounds out of this instrument. We begin by playing no strings at all, just by playing the percussion with the right hand. You'll see we have golpe, where we thump on the top of the instrument. And then we have a fanning action of the fingers, you'll, you'll notice, it's called rascado. So let me give you a, an idea of the pattern. Notice we launch each finger separately from behind the thumb, almost like shooting arrows with a bow. And sometimes we use the thumb at the end of the rasqueado for an extra accent. So think of all this rhythm as a steady continuum underlying all of the sounds of the flamenco performance. Of course, there are going to be melodies placed above that as well. And I'll, I'm about to show you what that's like, too. The beat, the basic beat we call is the compas. It's a word for a particular rhythmic cycle that professional musicians might refer to as a groove. So here is some bullerious compas. I've already been doing it. One, two, three, one, two, three, that kind of sound. So that's one way mathematically divide, to divide a six-beat pattern into two groups of three. But to create a kind of tension, we also divide it into three groups of two and alternate those two things. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. At the same time, the palmas are steadily going empty beat, two, three, empty beat, five, six, like this. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. So if you can think in those terms, pulling against that are these two different patterns. <laughs> Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And there I'm double timing, going up and down with just my index finger. But going back to the basic beat, here's what it is. That's the sixth beat. And you'll see one finger is hammering on in between the strikes of the strings. Almost like a syncopation. And it gives it that wonderful kind of Phrygian mode flavor of the half step above the A chord. of three and the three groups of two. And this is what tends to alternate in the foundation beat of the Bullerius form, because these two accent patterns are pervasive in the form, and they kind of get put together into 12 
beat cycles. So we have two groups of three, three groups of two, equaling 12 beats. Now let's bring in a counting principle to a couple of, of these patterns by learning a melody that goes over it. I'm going to show you is invented by a great flamenco guitarist and kind of a composer named Diego del Gastor, who was from Andalusia. And the word for that is falsetta. It's a kind of a solo melody. Everybody stops singing and dancing and pays attention to the guitarist, and he may do a melody like this. <laughs> chose this melody because it kind of sounds like a western waltz. Most of the flamenco falsettas are way more complex than that. So I'm going to put this into the context of the bulerias. Watch. <laughs> clapping going on. I have a, a little track of Palmas, the clapping, on my laptop, and I'm going to start that track and try to keep with it, stay with it, as I practice my buleria. And you'll notice there's a basic beat of clapping, and then there's somebody else clapping in between, just to put a little bit of tension into it. So I'm going to start that track of Palmas and put the piece over it. together with that tune and a typical buleria you might be able to hear. Something to appreciate and to work toward. Mm -hmm. 